Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Crickstone. I'm back at you guys with another video, and today we are gonna be taking on Pyotr Jan, one of the most OP players in the game, with a three and a half star Song Yidong. And if that isn't hard enough, I'm literally going to be playing as technical as I can. I'm gonna block break as little as possible, just to show you guys that you can use three and a half star, four star fighters against these high level, sometimes borderline OP fighters in the game and still be able to get victory so we're going with song Yidong against a Piotr Jan here this guy's a division 17 player so he he pretty much knows what he's doing um it's gonna be a very challenging matchup we can't go head to head with Piotr Jan like that and try to block break him we'll most likely lose so we're gonna try to fight as technical as possible and here we go we're both in the red trunks you know every, the red trunks are dope for everybody so everybody likes to use them so here we're trying to we're trying to close the distance just a little bit, get a good gauge for what he's gonna do. He immediately hits that back foot and then goes with the switch kick. So that let me know he's not just gonna head hunt. He's actually gonna try to go to the body. We're taking our time, feigning, trying to draw out a reaction. There we drew out a reaction with the leg kick. So he knows that Piotr Jan's weakness is his legs. So he's gonna try to block a good switch kick by him right there into a hook and then another switch kick. So this lets me know this guy is he's trying to catch the timing already. We're trying to slowly but surely work our way in, hit the leg, jab, not over committing on too many strikes because Piotr Jan has that 95 power that'll just put you out with a quickness. So we're trying to work the body a little bit, leg kick, but he, he answers with a hook of his own. Now he's pressuring us, so we go to the body, try to get out of the way there, but he's doing a good job of maintaining the pressure and staying in front of me. So here we're just trying to give him some things to think about, just letting him know we are going to return strikes, but not over committing. And he switches up to those knees that I, I absolutely despise knees in this game. I do. I do. But he does a good job of working them in when he feels like I'm going to go to the body. So there we go. The good body hook. Good switch kick by him. He's closing the distance. Hits a good leg kick. We return the favor right there. He's breaking our block down. We're able to pull counter. Good knee by him right there. Drains our stamina down pretty good. Our backs are against the cage here. This is not where we want to be at. We need to fight our way out of here. Um, if you're going to be using a four star fighter or a three and a half star fighter, you cannot put yourself up against the fence against somebody like Piotr Jan. Uh, it's, it's an absolute no, no. So we want to try to stay off of there as much as possible. Uh, we're trying to crack, crack him with some good body shots to alleviate the pressure, but he's doing a good job of just staying in my face. So we're, we're going one, two, one, one, two, not really throwing too many three and four punch combinations, uh, yet we're trying to get a good timing on it. Good double jab into my block right there. We try to pull counter, but we don't hit anything. He's doing a good job of just smothering me so that way I can't kick his legs. He's major lunging off to the side. Good jab straight right here, right there. And as you can see, he's just being relentless. He's not necessarily crowding with punches, but he's just staying in my face to let to make me think that he can load up on a combination at any time, which is how you really want to utilize pressure. Um, if you're trying to become a pressure fighter, you wanna you wanna make you you wanna make your opponent feel like they're suffocating. Like no matter what they do, they're not gonna get you off of them. And this is how you do it. Not necessarily by throwing a whole bunch of combinations, but really just by staying in somebody's face. So he's doing a good job of maintaining the pressure. We're responding right here. Good knee right there by him into a switch kick. He's draining my body health real quick. So we gotta start blocking to our body. We try to return, but he does win that exchange right there. He misses on the switch kick, but we didn't overhand him. We're just trying to get out of the round with the reads that we've already made. And that's the end of the first round. Now, he did a good job pressuring the hell out of me in that first round. He landed very good strikes. He was he was cracking me with those switch kicks. So going into the second round, we need to focus on not letting him hit the switch kicks. As you guys can see, we threw less. He landed more, but he threw a lot more than we did. He threw 12 more punches, but only landed about seven more, uh, which is where we want to be. We want to try to land more, but throw less. If we can do that, then that that's a that's a recipe for success for us against a Piotr Jan. So here, going into the second round, we got to watch that body health. But it looks like we, we got a good recovery. We're able to take him down here. But I don't want to do no work against Piotr Jan on the ground because he does have good jujitsu. So here, we're just cracking some shots to his body, trying to drain his body health down. We get right back up, and now he's back up against the cage. He blocks that body hook. He circles around. And now look at where we're at. This is not where we want to be. He did a good job of circling back around. So that way I was back up against the fence. And now he's back in a pressure situation here. 
We're trying to respawn, but our head health is super, super low. So now we got to start cracking off them combos if we want to get him out of our face. He does a good job of backing up, hits me with a good one-two. Now he's trying to he's trying to block break me a little bit, so we got to return with some strikes of our own. We're trying to major lunge to get out of the way. Good switch kick by him right there. We we'll go one-two to the body because I notice he's not blocking his body after the first shot. So there we catch him with a beautiful combination, rock him right there, head body head. Try to go back down to the body, but he's wise to it and blocks it. His block is broken, but he responds right there, which gives him a little bit of leeway. Good knee right there by him. But now we got that we got that head held check. So now he's gonna start slowing down just a little bit. Uh, we we he has to respect us because we got that rock. So it's gonna make for a little bit of an easier fight and an easier time with that pressure. So see, he's backing up. He catches us with a good head kick right there. Tries to jump down into our full guard, but we up kick him. So now it's it's rock for rock, but he's actually ahead in this round because he got the knockdown. So we need to to try to get the momentum back just a little bit. Because if we let it go, uh, Piotr Jan will just, he'll just take that momentum and just absolutely run with it. So we're trying to pressure him a little bit, trying to gain the center of the octagon back. He goes with another head kick. We're able to block that one. But here we're block breaking. Good switch kick to the body by him. Going down to the body, pressuring him now. But he's cracking off them switch kicks, even backing up. And look at him. He's trying to circle back again. Flying knee attempt, misses. Go to the body. Don't land to the head. Jab into his block. Good one-two by him right there. Catches us. Now he's trying to pressure. But look at the difference in this round compared to last round. We are not letting him keep us up against the cage anymore. And that's because we were able to do that because we actually got that rock at the beginning of this round. So now he's feigning off leg kicks, trying to crack him into straights. There it is again. Go jab leg kick. Be able to get that one off. He hits us with a good leg kick of his own. Another one right there. So he's privy to what we're trying to do with those leg kicks, and he's he's answering back. Slip straight into double body shot, lands right there. Try to break his block with a good combination, catch him with a good lead uppercut. And now look, we're backing up to the fence. We don't want that, so we circle out right there. Hits us, tries to hit us with a good front kick right there, but it doesn't land. Now we're exchanging in the pocket. Even though Song Yudong is a three and a half star, he catches us with a good front kick right there. Now we're in trouble going back down to the body. But we rock him back right here with five seconds left in the round. We get another rock as the round ends. An absolutely crazy ending to the second round. I mean, I rocked him. He knocks me down. He rocks me. Then I rock him twice before the end of the round. It's just a crazy uh, set of events that happened at the end there. There's that beautifully timed head kick by him. Just absolutely annihilated us. Luckily, we were able to get the up kick on that, though. So we didn't take too much damage. Good front kick right to him by him right there. Moving off to the side. Get, gave him another rock right there. He definitely won that round for sure. Because uh, he got a knockdown off of that head kick. He got that flash knockdown. And then he got that stun right there as well. Uh, even though we got two no uh, two rocks of our own. We're 1-1 we're one, one going into this third round. So here, our stamina is looking good. We recovered very, very well. But we need to watch for that leg health as well as our chin health. He misses on a kick right there. You make him pay with a good body shot. Then we rock him immediately straight off the rip. Ripping down to that body. He uppercutted us. Luckily, we were taking our time. We were resetting already. Good jab straight by us right there. Now we're putting the pressure on him. Try to catch him with a good jab hook. But that knee evaded it. So here, we're just taking our time. Trying to be technical with it. Not trying to trying to be predictable with our strikes. Going 1-2 to the body. Then we go back down to the body right there. But he cracked us with a good uppercut. So we need to be careful because Piotr Jan, like I said, has that power. But look at the total strikes landed. They went from 50, what, 53 uh, to 48 to now I've landed 119 to his 48. So it's, it's drastically swung in our favor, which let me know that that head health is probably pretty low. So here he's trying to slip off. We noticed that. Good leg kick by him right there. And we're double jabbing into that block to get the block down health down just a little bit but look at our leg health it's blinking like a blinker when you get off the freeway so we're gonna need a switch stance at some point we just don't want to do it if we don't have to yet while he's still cracking off them leg kicks double jab straight into the block right there now we decide to switch into southpaw good major lunge evades my strike right there so now we hit him with a good three punch combination he's rocked again he's moving his head off so we go down to the body with a body straight we're just taking our time not trying to rush we have two rounds to try to get this guy out of here. Rip into the body. 
Got him up against Cage. Catch him with a good head kick right there. Go back down to the body with a rear body uppercut lead hook combo. Hit him with a good head kick. Get that block stun. And now his head health is drained. Now he the shots are coming out a little more labored. And we catch him again with another good combination. Rock him for the what the third time in this round. Trying to catch him. Ooh, we almost got hit with a straight on that leg kick. Can't or head body kick. We can't throw those anymore. Good jab hook right there. Knocks him down. He gets right back up. He's back up against the cage, so we're putting a little bit of pressure on. We're trying to go to that body as well. Catch him with another good three-punch combination. And it's going to put us in a fight-ending scenario. We're going to try to get the job done here. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do it. And we don't. But we want the clean KO. We don't want to get ground and pound if we don't have to. But if need be, we will. So we're going to let him up here. Eve, Eve Levine says, get up, Piotr, even though you're hurt. Get your ass up. We're going to finish this fight. We touch gloves in a show of respect. And we're immediately back on the pressure. So here we need to watch out for that front kick that he's that he's threatening right there. He throws out the body teep. We're able to avoid it right there. So here we hit him with a good four points combination. This could be it. It's not it. It throws us into a ground and pound scenario again. And we get the dub with Song Yadong. The three and a half star Song Yadong. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Uh, this I really wanted to make this video for you guys to to really get you guys to see that you guys can use three and a half stars and four and a half and four star fighters against these OP fighters to get victories. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button. We make content like this as well as tutorials and we do streams pretty much every day. But until the next video, guys, take it easy. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you guys in the next one.